Hello, welcome to Transmissible Briefs, episode 7. Today we'll pay attention to a comic book series with an educational public health perspective. The Amazing Adventures of the Viruses. It's published by the Belgium-based Tsimasa Virology Comics. If you are a public health educator, a science teacher, or perhaps a parent, and you love teaching tools for younger audiences, then this podcast may be interesting for you to complete. Social media can be very distracting and time-consuming. However, they can also offer beautiful and unexpected surprises, allowing you to meet inspiring people, people that you probably would not easily bump into in the real world. A couple of months ago, I met the virologist Dr. Susan Nassif online when we shared some comments on a LinkedIn post. Susan is a very talented cartoonist and she holds a PhD in virology. She is the creator and artist behind the virology comic miniseries The Amazing Adventure of the Viruses. The first volume was called The Adventures of the Ragaches and was published in 2015. The comic tells the story about HIV, the HIV virus, and his team of viruses, Ebola virus, pox virus and others. They believe they can win the battle against the vaccine programs. After a thrilling episode, the team of the virologist manages to beat the viruses. But the end of the volume tells us that new viruses are always emerging. So winning one battle doesn't mean winning the war. This comic won the Science Hero Award in 2015. This month, the first volume was published again, and in this new edition, the narrative and the artwork had been slightly adapted to become the first volume in a series of 12 public health adventures. Simaza, the publisher, sets the goal to complete this series of 12 comic books within the next five years. They also want to publish a 30-minute animated movie and a digital game. On their website, cinemazacomics.com, the group explains their vision. Television and the internet are important sources for the public, for patients and for the medical profession. These media greatly contribute to public awareness, they provide advice about the transmission of diseases and offer access to basic knowledge. Still, especially for the lay public, for parents and children, the authors see a strong need for delivering basic knowledge on virology topics in an easy, enjoyable and inspirational way, in a way that remains fact-based and is fun. I think they did a great job. I find it strong and convincing to have an artistic author that also happens to have a PhD. The main goal of the group is to spread a credible and science-based message that vaccines are safe and work. They are worried about the large number of individuals and communities who believe that vaccines are dangerous. The creative team knows that the science to support vaccination is clear and they are also aware that the message to the lay community is sometimes not clear at all. This is why they started this creative and artistic campaign to educate children and their parents on the science behind vaccines and viral diseases. The creative team consists of Susan Nassif, the author and artist, Adam Wilson, the editor, the colorist, Daniela Barizone, lettering expert and producer, Francesco Adorizio, and Maccia Giannini, the graphic artist and illustrator. The latest publications of Simata include a special volume of the amazing adventures of viruses called Sanzare and a teaser of the animated movie. Sanzare is about the mosquitoes transmitting the Zika virus and the teaser shows us things to come in terms of cartoons. If you want to know more about Simaza, about Susan Nassif and her creative team, have a look at their website www.simazacomics.com or on their YouTube channel on Twitter at Virology Comics and on LinkedIn. I hope you have enjoyed this podcast. We'll come back soon with transmissible briefs on more public health news around you.